Hey, uh, is this Ella? Yes, this is Ella. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Um, before we start our session, did I make you aware that all uh, sessions will now be recorded and sent to you, or do you prefer it to be recorded, or you don't? You don't want it? Let me. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, don't, I don't mind. Okay, great. Because uh, it will also be sent to you, actually, all right? So, okay. mm -hmm. have you ever got a psychic medium reading before, or did you? Um, I got a reading from another lady, but never from you before. Mm, okay, all right, great. Your name, your name seems familiar, and it's very unique. <laughs> It, it, it's very. Are you? You mean my first name? For both, uh, first and last. Um, I, I think it was about two years ago. I had purchased some herbs from you for my anemia. Um. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. But I'm just saying when your name popped up, I said, "Wow, this is a unique name. It seems so familiar." Um, I thought I might have had a. A session or, or you contacted me for something because I, I know I've seen the name before and um, I know no not not too many people have that name actually so I was like yeah. okay yeah not come on no one has not too many people have your name just just the way it flows like that no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get that a lot yes yeah, it's, it's very it's very unique okay so why don't we just get into our session? One thing um, I have to explain to you, because you haven't received the reading from me, um, what I'm going to be doing now is <clears throat> I'm going to go into channeling. Um, I'm going and what is channeling? Channeling is basically communicating with your spirit guides or your loved ones that passed away, and delivering any types of messages that you have for them. Oh well they have for you not for them but you can also ask mm -hmm, but you can also um ask me any specific type of questions um because you know so that you can receive answers specific answers so whatever it is um whatever questions you have regarding your love life your career um you name it your health anything any type of questions that you have um please feel free to ask um, and then the messages will be coming from your spirit guides, okay? okay? And then the one thing and another thing is um, your spirit guides, the, because they are on a different dimension, different frequency, the timing may be off. So they will tell me things about you that happened in your past life, um, in your past experience here on earth, even what's happening now. And will and what will happen in the near future? So everything, you know, it's basically everything in one, okay? Because again, right. they they're they're operating on a um, different time frame. Now, anything that I may express to you or say to you that you are unaware of, or you need more clarity of, because I don't assume that everybody is on the same level spiritually. Please ask me to clarify it for you, okay? Give me one sec. Let me let me see. Oh, okay. We are dealing now with the. They're showing me your crown chakra, and they're showing me. They're telling me to tell you to be at ease with things. That everything will go well. They're also sh sh saying intuition. Let's follow your intuition. Follow that gut feeling. Um, get more into, I guess, what is you get more into like enhancing your psyche. So for you, um, do you come from a spiritual background or you're looking to spiritually develop yourself? Which one is it? Um, the second, I'm looking to spiritually develop, develop. myself. Oh. In, in my past, I've been religious, but since 2012, I felt like that was my awakening. So I've been more spiritual. Since then. Mm -hmm, because that's what they're showing me, um, the crown chakra, and, and they're showing me an actual crown, and they're sh showing, listen, tell her to follow her intuition, tell her to enhance her psyche, 
And the way that you can enhance your psyche is they're saying, listen, believe in yourself. So whatever it is that you, you know, when you go through different situations in your life and you, you know, and your intuitive side comes in, follow that. Because to the extent that you follow yourself is to the extent that that ability of yours that you have will increase. What is your sign? Scorpio. Oh, yeah, your water sign. Very intuitive. There you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very intuitive. They're, they're definitely speaking to me about the crown chakra, uh, the per you know, which is depicted as the color purple. I want you to get you some amethyst, okay, to enhance that psyche in um, this uh, a blue moon or a purple moon stone or a golden moonstone. Anything dealing with a moonstone, you're going to look that up. Okay? Um you're going to look it up and you're going to get the color purple for you because purple is resonating very very well with you. We're dealing with royalty. We're dealing with transformation. We're dealing with transitioning from one particular being to another. We're dealing with life and death, death and life, reborn again. Um, so they are coming to me and they're saying, listen, all you have to do is tell her to uh, basically follow that intuitive mind of hers. Because you know how sometimes people will come at you and um, you know what you know that they're lying and they lie so good that you tend to second guess yourself like, well, well, probably I'm, yeah. you know, well, probably I'm a little bit too hard on this person or probably, you know, it's just yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. Um, you okay. want to, you want to stick to that true feeling. You definitely want to, um, follow that right mind. You have a grandmother on the other side? Um, yeah, I have a grandmother on both sides that are alive. Say that again. Both of my grandmothers are still alive, yeah. Mm -mm. Well, I'm, I'm seeing this woman come to me now, and she's like an elderly. She's like an elderly woman, so I'm feeling like it could be like your spiritual uh, godmother or something in that nature. But huh. give me a second. She has like a, an, a pendant on her. Um... And she's saying this is for you. You wanna you wanna go and wash yourself and like um where are you calling me from? What well actually where am I calling you? Indianapolis. It's still hot there. Um no not not too much. It's about fifty sixty degrees. Oh, it's 50. starting to get cold. Oh okay, it's starting to get cold. Okay, all right. Because what you wanna what you wanna do is. You want to go and um, give offerings to the water spirit. I don't know if that is how you heal yourself or get more in tune with yourself or that's a yeah, place. Yeah, I'm taking of, a bath. Yeah, okay. I, I haven't been able to take a bath since we moved to this new house. Mm -hmm. And we've been here for about maybe three months now. Mm, okay, okay. But what she she's... She's an entity from like um so a water a water entity like I'm feeling like a sea a queen sea or something of that nature and she's giving me an appendant to give to you um and she's like you know like um you know like the X you know X Men like those ca uh, characters and you see like yeah. the lady you see like that lady who has like the white hair. Like, um, yeah, yeah she looks yeah, like, yeah. and her, something storm or something like that. She, yeah. okay, she's an Obatala woman, the a woman Batala. She's the, she is the wife of Obatala and she's with you. That's who she is. That's where this is coming from. And she's, Obatala? Obatala, that's an Orish, that's the, that's the grandfather of all fathers, the Orisha, that's dealing with the Orisha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That's okay. his wife. That's his wife. She's with you. That's her. Mm-hmm. 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 She's with you. She's protecting you. You want to look into her. 
Um, and I can even okay. look. I can even further look into look into who she she is. This is this is actually the first time that I channeled this woman. I I didn't I didn't know nothing about Obatala's wife. All I know oh. is of of about Obatala Abatala. Um, because he's like the grandfather of all fathers for protection. If you know, and he's dressed all in white too. You will see him. But this is the woman oh. aspect of who he is. And he is, wow. and he's for you, yeah. But he's like, he's the elder, the father of fathers. So we definitely dealing with an elderly mama. Um, and okay. mm -hmm. And this is who she is, and she's dressed just like him, but woman. She has white hair. Wow. She's dressed all in white, and she has an append a pendant on her, and she's giving it to you. And she, I'm feeling like, um. Like, like the water, I mean, everything honestly comes from water. So I guess, I guess the, um, the, the remedy for you is telling, she's basically telling you to cleanse yourself with beach water. Um, it's interesting what? because I had, I did a session with another client too, where her mother was, uh, a Yemenya or another deity. And it was uh -huh. just about this whole water energy. Um, but right. it's it's coming with you too, but and it's interesting because you're a Scorpio. Um, but okay. we dealing with like protection, we dealing with malicious people, um, negative people, we dealing with the people that talks nonsense behind your back. And we okay. want to deal because you know, one thing's for sure, um, you know sometimes people words hold power. Okay, and if you tell people your business and they don't have the right intentions for you, then um, you know they they can have some type of influence about your you know your results or your 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 you know what it is that you want to do. Um, say for example, you tell somebody you know I want to get a new job or I'm starting a new business and you know and people have like oh she about to do that or oh she mm hmm you know that mm hmm I, I'm gonna see this yep yeah okay yep. I know exactly what you mean mm hmm okay so this is what okay. mm hmm so this is what they're telling me to tell you to protect yourself from these malicious people quote unquote by um cleansing yourself with like this beach water and again she's coming through um to me so you want to look into who she is and i can also when i get a chance um look you know get more information about her and tell you what you need to do to give offerings to her because she's with you this okay woman. because last night when i was thinking about our session today um, the lady who I had a reading from before, she told me um, I was protected uh, by Oya because um, she ruled Scorpio and Capricorn. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I was looking up last night. And did you did you just say um, cleanse myself with beach water? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. I've been trying to get to the beach <laughs> for a while now. And for some reason, it's just, it's just not working out. But yeah. that's just further confirmation. That's further confirmation, uh -huh. definitely. Um, one thing's for sure I always say about the spirit realm, um, you know, you don't have to rush anything. Do th Things would happen for you when it's your time. So, but be sure, be, know that you have to do something, though. You know, you can't just put it in the back burner, oh, I got to do this, but... uh. You know, I'm going to put it to the side. No. Uh, you can go at your leisure is what I'm saying. But be sure that you're going to actually go because it's, it's to benefit you. Um, It's only to benefit you. So um, I would recommend that you go. And then you just get like one gallon because they're just saying she can clean herself with beach water. So you can just do like one gallon um, of this beach water and just like pour it over you program it too, you know, mm -hmm. program it for protection, program it, they're saying to release negative people out of your past, you know, like simply, mm -hmm. simply removing people that is not for your highest good out of your past, 
because we're all walking a path and we're all aligning ourselves with our highest good. So if we have people that are not for our highest good that we are not aware of, you want to release these pe these unseen people on their path when you speak into existence and when you speak into the mm -hmm. universe. Okay? So Okay. Mhm. Mm so um that that gallon of water is definitely going to help you release um, and okay, so give me a second now that now they're telling me that you got to do a tonic. You want to do coke, you want to do coconut water as well. Fresh coconut water with the, um, with the beach water. Okay. Okay. You want to go to the supermarket, you want to go to the supermarket and you want to get the brown Coconut, like the whole coconut, you want to get the brown, uh -huh. the, the brown one, the brown one, and you want to get the water from it, and you want to add uh -huh. it to the beach water that you got, or, or, if you do not, give me a second, I'm, this, this is more so about, this is more so about protection and purity, this is the reason why they're telling me these the uh about these different baths. So for you, I don't know. Do you, we're gonna get into the bath, but have you been in like um a abusive relationship or a unwanted relationship in the past? Um. Yeah, yeah. I guess you can say abusive. It's never been where it's you know. Much of it has been physical, yeah. Um, the one I'm in now, we've had our moments where we go back and forth, or uh, he's put his hand around my neck, you know, okay, and stuff like that. Okay, thank you for confirming that. So we shall proceed, okay? You want to okay. you want to protect yourself. Um, you want to get the. Cause I'm like, why are they tell why are they telling me all of this stuff about protection, protection, protection? And you have to be in a situation where there's danger, um, or you have to have been in a in a situation from the past where you've been in a dangerous situation where it still lingers in your soul, meaning you haven't fully cleansed your spirit from these traumatic relationships. You see, so on a spiritual level. You want to cleanse yourself, so you want to get okay. so you want to get that coconut water that I've been referring to you. Three mm -hmm. is what they're showing me. Three coconut water, and you can just pour that in your bath water. However, if you get the beach water, okay. you hearing me? Yeah. Okay. If you get the beach water, that's good as well. Okay. Okay. That's good as well. You want to get, listen, so you want to get the, the, the beach water. You want to get a gallon of that beach water, right? Now, if you get the gallon uh -huh. of that, if you get the gallon of that beach water, you're going to pour the beach water in like a bucket, and you're going to add three coconuts to that same bucket, right? Or if, okay. you, or if you don't get the beach water, if you don't get the beach water, um, you're going to just get the three coconut, right? And you're going to add the three coconut to your, your bath, your, your bathtub, your bath water. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. And mm, you can also, if you want, you can also add like um, some like carnation milk. Carnation milk? Yeah, like milk, milk, carnation hmm. milk. Like a white bath. You want to pure purify yourself with like a white bath okay okay remember i told you this is obatala's wife and she did mm. she's dressed all in white so we're, we're dealing with protection we're dealing with purity you want to purify your spirit so anything mm. white will purify your spirit she's telling me to tell you to also wrap when you do when you do what I told you to do. You want to wrap your head in white as well. 
because your your the, okay. your senses, your spirit is going to be like all over the place. So you want to ground yourself. You want to wrap yourself in white. Right. Your white, your, your crown, your crown. Now we're dealing, we're going back to the crown chakra. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I do have a, a few questions. Mm-hmm. Um, for some reason, which I'm not sure, and that's the main reason I wanted to get a reading, I've been having issues with, um, developing relationships with people. Like, I don't have any friends. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to know why. Like, because I'm, I feel like I'm a good person overall. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to know why, like, I don't, I can't maintain these relationships with people. Well, one of the things I'm feeling just from what I've told you before, remember when I said there's, there's situations that happened to you in the past that your spirit may still be lingering around, I mean, holding mm-hmm. on to? One thing's for sure, whatever's happening internally is what you attract. So if you're, like, still tight and you still, like, have these emotional feelings or you still have these um these these this tense inside of you it will be hard for you to develop a harmonious relationship because you haven't fully spiritually cleansed yourself from the past relationships so you're not going to attract the people that are good for you only because you didn't do yourself cleansing so as a result your spirit guide, well, not even your spirit guide, I feel like she's like an ancestor of yours or whatnot, or your protector. So now she comes in and she tells me, listen, this is what you need to do to clear yourself. I remember I kept saying purifying and protection. And that is, that's why I'm feeling that like you may not be attracted or you may not, it's not easy for you to hold on or keep a, uh, a good relationship because you have some self cleansing to do. Okay. It okay, it, ma- it makes sense. sense. It makes sense. In order for you to be a good friend, you got to be a good person. Mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Mind, body, and soul. In order for you to give advice to people or whatnot, your spirit got to be right. Mm-hmm. I think about it. You're a Scorpio, you know, you know, so, 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 so you have, you have more of the, and remember when I say release people into, uh, what they, I said, release people to their highest good, releasing negative people or releasing people that are not for you into the world or into the ethers or into the universe so that you can attract, you know, positive people. And I also would recommend that you visualize yourself because I'm I'm seeing you sitting down and I'm seeing you watch a movie. So we're dealing with visualization. So I want you to visualize yourself in these happy relationships so that you can, again, create your reality. Right. Okay. Okay? And then now that's dealing with your intuition, that's dealing with your psyche. So everything is just tying in. Mm-hmm. Okay, because that, that, that right there, that resonated with me because I recently went to the store and I picked up a board and mm. immediately when I saw it, I thought vision board. Mm. And I started on it, I, well, I was going to start on it yesterday, but yesterday I just started feeling real bad and that and that goes to my second question. Mm. Um, do you see anything with my health or anything like that, any... Um, cause I, I just, I don't know, I'm thinking it's sinuses, I thought it was a cold, I'm just, you know, I, I, not feeling well. They show me, const- they, they show me your large intestine, um, dealing with constipation. Um, so hmm. it, it may be like a buildup of, of, and it could be on a spiritual level, um, a buildup mm-hmm. of tension that is now on the physical plane clogging you mm-hmm. up, clogging you up. And to the extent that you're clogged up, it's to the extent that you will have symptoms such as the ones that you've been experiencing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, they're, again, they're showing me the rectum 
part of your digestive system. So we also connect that to the large intestines. So then that will also say that you need to be indulging in uh, foods that are more have more of, of a fiber content or rather green food to stimulate the to stimulate the digestive system and to stimulate a bowel movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. Do you have other questions? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess the, the family and friends would go together because I've been, lately I've been losing family mm -hmm. as well. Like, um, just just over petty stuff, you know, stuff that doesn't even matter. Um, so I guess that would go into cleansing myself um, um, and purifying. Um, but I do have one more question. Mm -hmm. Um I'm working. Right now, I don't have to work. My husband works. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm pretty much I'm open and free to do with what I need to do. And my main goal is to start up some type of business so we can be self-sufficient, so he can be home more often. Because um, right now, he's on the road six days a week. He's a truck driver. Truck driver. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, and this is, I, I don't know which way to go. Should I pursue education or should I uh, pursue a, a career or where, where, which direction should I go? I'm, I'm just lost in that aspect. The first thing that came up is psychology. Um, <laughs> helping you laugh. Yeah. Um, psychology, helping people understand the mental or helping people understand their own behavior. Um, so you can go about this two ways. You can rather go back to school to get a psychology degree, and this is if you choose to do so, um, or you can open up a business where you provide consultations or therapy for people that are going through mental illness. So, so, so yeah, but that's that's what they're telling me. Um, and again, okay. and again, whatever you choose to do, you know, it it it, it won't. It, if whatever's meant for you will be, okay. So mm -hmm. whatever you choose to do, I'm pretty sure it will be successful as well. But when you mm -hmm. asked about what path you should take, that's that was their answer to you. Okay. Helping people okay. with the mental. More so like a therapy thing, um, you know, or, a, you know, when you go to see your your therapist or your counselor or something like that where people even, even you can go, um, even you can go and, and, and give people free, like free 10, first 10 minutes are free, you know, when you mm -hmm. begin this business, whatever it is. Um, they telling me to tell you because when you spoke about the business, I am seeing something small, but they're saying, listen, in order for you to attract people to you, you want to tell them first 10 minutes is free. Okay. What, whatever it is that you're going to do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go well, but the, the visualization part of you and the clearing part of you have to come first. Mm -hmm. Right. I definitely understand that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you've been so, so very helpful. Thank you. Um, uh, that, that, um, Obatala, how do you spell that? Is it O-B-A-T-A-L-A? Correct. His wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. His wife. Mm-hmm. His okay. wife. Mm-hmm. Yo, she, she, I never channeled her. I never knew nothing about her. She's the, she, this is the, this is the first time she came to me the first time. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I'm definitely going to do my research on her right mm -hmm. now. I just, yeah, you know, because I, I always felt something was watching over me, but I'm not, I, you know, I'm not too sure what exactly it was or who it was. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, you've been very helpful. Thank you so much, Ella. Oh, beloved. Thank you as well. As I'm, I'm more than willing to further assist you, and as I tell my first-time clients, 
feel free to recommend me to others that may benefit from my service or need further assistance on a spiritual journey. Okay. All sure, right, we'll Thank you so much, beloved. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.